all and they heat it up and then put it in the yeah, something said um, when you have stuff that's working fairly good, I might take her around. I might play with the idea. Yeah. There is a lot of ways to kill mites. Mm -hmm. I have done a study myself at the house with Nemoy. It's N-E-E-M. Yeah. It's basically a, a natural way to kill nematodes and mites. Mm -hmm. But you know, you you gotta find what works. Yeah. And this basically, people come to me. Well, if this method works so good, then why are you doing this? And why are you doing that? Because everybody's different. Mm -hmm. What I drive to get here might not be what you'd ever want to sit in. But it's point A to point B. It's mm -hmm. transportation, and it's a method of controlling. The least you do to your hive, the better off you are. I guess that is it's probably a measurement of uh, oxalic acid, I guess. I haven't looked at this presentation in a while. <laughs> and this is good for ant control. I, I thought it cost good for you. <laughs> well, don't go to the paint store and buy paint that's oops. I mean, I go to Lowe's, Sherman Williams, Home Depot. They pay me to haul the paint away. Because I'm the hazmat. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yes. You see all the different colors? Mm -hmm. Did I properly dispose of it? <laughs> okay, this is a good miticide. It, uh, the only thing about this, you want to get garlic powder. I've talked to an old beekeeper, he's probably as old as I am, in Arkansas. And for 10 years, they couldn't find mites this high. I asked him what he was doing, and he says, I dust them down with powder sugar and garlic. The only thing that I see, I tried it, it seems to have an effect on them. The only thing I worry about if garlic powder happens to come in contact with your queen, you could descend her. The minute you descend her, they're going to ball her. That, everything has good and bad about it. You're going to have to figure out what is good for you. Uh, that's that lifting. Uh, this is good. I'm not, I'm not saying do this, do that. I found this works good on high beetles, if you want to work the high beetles on that angle. The old-fashioned um, sugar patties. Crisco, sugar, wear gloves, that stuff will burn you. And that's like Paul's methylipsis cough cups. Very concentrated. You take about a cup of uh, powder sugar, half that amount of Crisco, you're mixing about 15, 20 drops of that, you roll it up in little scars. Mini, mini scars, you roll up your hot dog even. Stick it in the crevice in the back of your beehive. It'll run 80, 90% of the beetles out of there. Don't hurt the bees. What do you think you got in California? Your goodness all gross. And what happened? No high beetles and mite counts was low. You gotta find what works. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to get hooked up this way with this company. They returned one of my calls and I wasn't there when it returned. I'm trying to get a deal with them where they endorse my product or what I'm doing and give my students. I will get right now if you tell them. That bee man sent you, and you deal with Loran oils. Tell them ahead of time. If you need the link, I can probably get it off my computer. It's on my other computer. Where you can get tax-free discount, ten to twenty percent. And I'm trying to work a deal where we can get product free, because I buy wintergreen tea tree oil syrup by the gallon. It's four hundred fifty dollars a gallon. If I didn't believe in it, I I'd spend my money on the other pops or something else. Uh, do, do the next one. Peppermint oil is not a great miticide. I mean, the bees don't even like to see it in the hive. There's a lot of different oils you can use. Um, do the next one. We did lemongrass oil. That's probably a four ounce bottle. If you mix up Honey Bee Healthy yourself or use my recipe, uh, be careful. Uh, Joe May is up in uh, Indiana and he was doing great and he mixed up too much lemongrass oil and it caused a, caused a feeding frenzy. This is good if you don't have a dead queen. See, the old beekeepers did everything the old way. You take a dead queen, instead of throwing her on the ground, put her in a bottle of alcohol, and you mash her up. You stick a Q-tip in there, and you just go around the inside of the box, leave the Q-tip inside, close it up, put everything, just foundation starter strips. Don't use dry comb. 
Draw a cone works, but if you don't get a swarm in there within 15, 20 days, you got a mess of uh, wax moth in there. Mm -hmm. so, this can sit out five years and the bees or the, the wax moth won't do nothing. It's something about when they start to draw it, maybe it's uh, stuff on their feet, I don't know. Unco uh, undraw comb. That is good, basically it's a liquid form of oxalic or uh, thymol crystals. Crystals is better, I can control it better. This you can put in your fogger, you can do the crystals if you heat it up. And you have to heat it on the outside stove <coughs> because it outgasses. But do you just heat it up to dissolve the, the crystals? Well, you've got to keep putting your finger in it. When you oh. can't touch your finger anymore, cut the heat off and keep stirring it. Because okay. once it gets to a, there's a higher flash point. Okay. Yeah. Right. Then the next one. That's just another thing. What's that used for? Control. It's it's a good for swarm lures, but it's not as efficient as uh, you know I experiment. So it's it's not one of my greatest. I'd rather use the lemon grass oil. Teacher oil, we don't put uh, Fuma del B in a hive or Fuma gel. A little tiny bottle of that treat ten hives is like fifty bucks. A four ounce bottle of that will treat three hundred hives. That's an antifungal, antibacterial. And why I'm talking about bacterial and fungus, when you set a lid or a, a, a high body on the ground, always turn your lid upside down. Never lift ground where you've got propolis in contact with the ground. Mm -hmm. You get one leaf of something green here, it, it gets a fungus in there. Are you mixing that with their water or? Or how do you mix it? Yeah, what do you just pencil? The teacher, oh, that goes in no. with your feed. I got it. Teach your own goes in with the feet. Mm -hmm. okay. We use that a, a lot heavy in the spring and fall. And it's to help prevent nosema, which is basically a diarrhea that bees get. You know, they can't go out and empty their bladder, I guess. <laughs> uh, that's just a small. This is where I did a presentation. This here, like I think at the time was like 40, 50. And the box is still in the bee lab. I never opened it. Uh, this here is, a, I think, a better product for people who do natural. Uh, the other one's Puma Gel. This is Puma LB, I guess. Teramycin. Probably still got the same pack there. I have to do things at presentation of bee clubs. If you told me you have bees and you want me to sell them, and you put Teramycin, I don't want to buy them. That contaminates your wax. You don't cut your foot up to prevent gangrene. And that is supposed to just cover it up. It ain't going to cure foul brood. It might be halfway decent for European fool brood or chalk brood, but those are other underlying things. I guess I was out doing classes again. What? Here's another thing. Somebody said an old box there. This is a 12 inch block with a three and a half inch. When you work your hives, everybody's got a different hive. I like my bottom board equal with my kneecap, and I don't want to reach any higher than there. <laughs> Save your back. Okay, this uh, boric acid, that's what this is. Mm -hmm. Political sign, that is uh, probably a container. This here, I turn it around because I have to watch going places if you advertise your stuff. It's like my uh, yellow jacket trap. Man, that thing is a killer. Everybody wants to know what I use. No one's videotape your stuff. Ain't that a good beer? <laughs> works the best. Mm -hmm. It works on anything. Yeah, it's good. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, political sign. Uh, if you do this method here for beetles, it will kill the beetles. If you come to me and say, Tom, I've done exactly like this, it stopped killing beetles. Then you know what you've done wrong? 99% of the time, you filled them up. You take a whole stack of them with a teaspoon and dribble it in there. You only need a granule or two. When they become effective is when they propolize the whole shut and change them up in 30 or 90 days. In fact, we haven't even used that for three years. And when you open my hives up, because we work our hives, on an average, of what, she was at my bee yard out at the graveyard. Uh, we didn't see about half a dozen, some of them did overwinter. Okay. That's just showing. And this here is where it's been pulled out. You want to take the beetle trap and put it a half inch to three quarters inch from the back of the board, put a staple in it. Surprise the bees will actually work that out of a hive. 
that must be one of my students. Uh, that stuff does happen, so. <laughs> uh, cross rounds. This is, this ring here is in two pieces. And you can buy, actually, some of that white stuff there is not quite what they call thin surplus or for cut comb. We have made it on the wax mill, but if I do that, what I usually do is use my own stuff, and we use a starter strip even on that. And this replaces the little score boxes that when I was a child or a kid that they used to use. And this was a, a Polish man that invented this because in the score boxes, they never seemed to make that corn fill it up. He come up with this here, and I've got some of the original stuff I bought from him in 70. And it came in white frames, and then reds for the outside was indicate those one on the outside. Now they're all brown, I think. But these things here, that's what I was talking about, the uh, orange blouse, that there is $12.50 wholesale. Uh, minimum $9 cash money, some come. And that's how they're set up. Standard five frame box, you put your piece of plywood on each end, because these plastic frames are a little short. And as you take these frames, your two pieces, you take your high tool and split them apart, those rings stay on the honey. That's your packaging. It leads to the packaging there. So you'll have to take it, once you pull it out, the rings stay together with the honey, and you take a knife and trim around that, because the wax goes straight across that sheet. What we, we use starter sheets, but then once that point is done, then they have these lids, and you stick them on in just a slight turn, and they lock in place. Uh, they have a pressure-sensitive lathe that pre-made. You can do them on a computer. I just bought a bunch of them. But that box there is 250 bucks. Uh, I did a video on this. This is back in the V-Lab. Uh, that's the knife I use. Uh, I